put it in a sense of poverty and famine, like we need that, like famine, like you're thirsting, you're, you, you want, you're hungry for it, like your soul wants it. Whether you give it to it or not is on you, but innate to us is that hunger, that thirst mm -hmm. for a richer, deeper meaning in life. Absolutely. I've just recently learned that nobody can tell you what to do because in your heart, you already know what is in your best interest. Mm -hmm. You just you just feel like you have to have somebody reinforce it. And if they tell you something different, you're just going to call your next girlfriend. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, and so space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that's why you need the space because you don't need anybody's confirmation. All you need is for you to follow your heart and I feel like you can't follow your heart if you're so if everybody else's voices are turned up so loud that you can't hear your own mm -hmm. and when you're in the silence that's when you hear your own I've seen that social media is used as a means of immediate grati gratification and it's trying to fulfill something that can only be mm. gratified from a deeper within. level mm -hmm. yeah from within you know from personal interaction social, social media excuse me will never um, replace the real thing of being here we're so willing to put our lives on there. And it's not just checking other people's updates. There are people that put every single movement of every single day on their Twitter. Oh my gosh. And there, where's, where's the privacy in your life? Where do you have a you moment where people just don't know about it? Well, see, this is what's crazy is that, like, that can be the space. Every time you go to tweet or check your Facebook, mm -hmm. you know, we're missing that space in our lives where we can just sit and be. You know, like, we don't really sit and be anymore. We have our own vibration, our own energy, our own aura, mm -hmm. you know? And so when we use social media, we're chopping that off. Absolutely. So like, what makes us beautiful as human beings, we're ripping, we're ripping it out of like, mm -hmm. our lives. It's like the, the more time we spend on our social media, the less, the more time we're alone. Mm. You know, they post something and 700 people, you know, like that thing, then, okay, that's the way I'll be. Because mm -hmm. they're you know, validating it. Exactly. exactly. Which is just like you said, when you start looking for approval from everyone and when you start striving for that connection with everyone, mm -hmm. you lose the voice in your head and you lose the connection you have with yourself. It is necessary to realize that technology itself is not the cause of our problem mm -hmm. of time. The result is the result of an unseen accelerating process yeah. taking place in our lives, in our inner being. And I think that I think that's completely true. Like we kind of let like Sort of what you're saying, Linda, is that it kind of like overtook us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But we're, it's like the hierarchy, like we're at the top of the food chain here. Right. Like, what the heck? You know, like, how are we allowing this to run our lives? And it, it's frustrating to me, too, because it's like nothing's organic anymore. You know, we were missing the, or, the organic, like, I can't just, I can't sit here and have a conversation with you, you know, if you're okay, your guy. I, like you're saying, I can't sit here and like be like, oh, hi, it's like, okay, now we have to play the game, you know, let me get your Twitter, let me look at your Facebook pictures <laughs> let first, your Instagram. Let, me see, let me see your Instagram, let's creep. you know, let's, you know, let's text for a couple weeks, you know, cool, let's let's never have texting. one phone call. I don't think you have to cancel out of social media, because I know we're engaging in technology to spread mm -hmm. our, our, our message, our word, you know, like, you know, I think just set it aside for a moment. Mm -hmm. You know, I do it. I'm a web designer. I'm a web developer and entrepreneur. You know, and I'm always active in the digital realm. I take time throughout the day, step outside, work on the yard, work on my composting. <laughs> you know, do something that's the complete <laughs> color. <guy>. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I do it on purpose because I I want to be present in the moment, and I want to remember, hey, the sun is out. It's beautiful outside. I want to see the fruits of my labor. There's nothing wrong with Twitter, Facebook, mm -hmm. Google+. Plus. Right. These are all great methods of expression, excuse me. Um, what they do lack is a level of intimacy associated with personal communication. Right. Right. So there's there's tremendous power in our in our in our forms of communication. The question is, how are we using them? For what purpose? And what's the nature of it? And then even deeper, what's the intention of right. the communication? Mm -hmm. That gets us into a whole other. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good jazz. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Um, <laughs> Can I get a little hand wave? I like those. <laughs> That's why I think what we're doing here is so special, is because, like, we're how many ever people right now 
but we get people to listen and then all of a sudden they're supporting the cause and then their friends and family are supporting the cause and then before you know it we have a mm -hmm. number of people who are willing to stand up and say this and this aren't right and this is what we need to do about it. We're redefining what it means to be successful what you said was so profound. Can, can you imagine if our whole if our whole society or educational system, if it was all about um, self-discovery, right? Like, who are you as a human being? Who are you? What gifts do you have? What can you bring to contribute to the wholeness of life? You know, and that the whole encouragement is find your passions, develop your gifts, contribute what you love, find meaning in what you do, and make it, you know, contribute to the wholeness with your passion and your love. And like how fulfilling that is. Imagine the kind of world we would live in if everybody right. did that. I mean, imagine. Wholesome living, mm. friends, family. If a neighbor got hurt, you farmed with them. I long for that. Me. That is what we all need to get back to. Community. To, to that community. Yeah. That There's that concept of yes. we're so stuck on self that when everyone's so stuck on self, we actually cause pain and suffering to a mass population. And then there's the higher level of corporation level and people outside of our touch that we can't do anything about individually, but until we come together as a mass population. The reality is we have the ability and power as a population to stand up and say, this is wrong, let's fix it. Mm -hmm. Until people realize that the meaning of success is not the amount of money and things <coughs> you buy with that money, and is that of the purpose of what they wanted to do and Passion. did they, right, and did they, accomplish that goal, that's the meaning of success. It's We're talking about the heart, the heart yeah. of America, yeah. the heart of the community, the heart of his mm -hmm. family. It was, you are rich, so. they just have wealth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. She gets cool points for that comment. I love it. Maybe they're, they're not as rich as you are. Right, and when I say You brought us to the heart of like and the bridge. The heart is bursting And um and I love that we've touched on money because our next piece shall we um I, I want to say, what is our, yeah. our mission? Our mission possible if we choose to accept it um, <laughs> is to venture into money and the meaning of life from Needleman, which is the mm -hmm. next reading. I and I've never, I haven't read that one yet. Ooh, so sure it'll be really it. cool to kind of see what ground. what comes out. Yeah. What did you say? We'll be on even ground. I know. <laughs> I would, I would um, love to also revisit this concept of what we envision a possible nation. Because sure. I think that, that could be a whole great. project. Oh, that totally. could be a whole project that we can interview. I mean, that could be a whole side project that we yeah. could actually continue. Because, because yeah. like you said, yeah. sometimes you need to say it for people to hear it and believe it and say, you know, I, I love agree that. With that. And I totally would love to see that be a project where we're the, we're showing people this is the nation that we would like to see. This is a nation that I think is healthy. Would you like to take on the the lead role in? in I would love to. In, we can move into the future healthy and you know grow and have new technology and stuff like that but we need to incorporate what we've lost from the past yes and it's and, all within us yeah oh yeah we all long for it the moment you see it or feel it or remember it if you've lost it like you recognize you it. want it yes you want it immediately mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, juicy juice <laughs> this is good awesome job guys so we will um, continue continue thank you for your wonderful contributions so exciting! So we'll just uh, we'll, we'll conclude and then we'll pick up with um, money and the meaning of life. And I have a couple hard copies for those that don't have this. Yeah. Would you like cool. to tell us, the viewers, that this is a conclusion? This is a, we're we're concluding our conversation, <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we'll pick it up with um, money and the meaning of life. Jacob Needleman. The um, the reading is on the website, so you can read up on it and then join us in our next conversation. You'll see the date and the time on the website. You can join us in person or online. Thank you for watching. Hope you found value and think about the vision that you want to create. We'd love to hear from you.